what's going on guys? Robbie here. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about the number one thing you can do to increase your revenue almost immediately in your business and in your box. Okay. So, and what I'm talking about, of course, is email. So if you are not using email to increase your revenue in your gym, okay, you are crazy. Okay. The reason why is because email works so well. Okay. First of all, um, with all the clients I work with, all the box owners, all right, every single one of them has an email list, but almost everybody is not using the email list. So the reason why email is so great is because um, when you use that list and you actually apply that list um, into your business, into your marketing, you're gonna see a return almost immediately. So most of the owners I work with, I see they have at least a couple thousand dollars just lying there waiting to be um, taken advantage of, okay? And this is how you're gonna do it, guys. So if you have your emails, okay, so, you're going to divide them and you're going to separate them into three specific lists. Okay. First list is going to be your current clients. Okay. So your current clients, those are people who are currently paying a membership at your gym. So, um, it can be, like I said, as long as they're paying a membership, so whatever it's a contract or it's a monthly membership, whatever it may be, as long as they're paying that, they can stay on this list. Okay. Now with your second one, okay, you have your prospects. Our prospects are going to be people who either tried out a class, um, maybe they did a low barrier offer, or maybe they just, for whatever reason, they just didn't sign up. Okay, people who came into your gym didn't sign up, all right, but were interested at one point. Okay, that's another list. All right, uh, the final list. All right, it's going to be your past clients. Okay, so those are clients who had joined your gym for, at one point in time, and then for whatever reason they canceled. Okay, maybe they moved, maybe they weren't interested anymore, maybe life got in the way. Whatever it is, okay, those are people you want to put into your past clients, okay? Now, when it comes to your email marketing, this is the way it should be set up, okay? So if you use a service like Fitpro Newsletter or MailChimp or whatever it may be, you want to upload those into there, okay? After that, all right, this is going to be the goal of each one. For your current clients, you're going to build that relationship. Okay, so we're building a relationship. So... Um, email is great because as an owner, sometimes it's hard to get in touch with everybody at every time on every day, but with email, you can do that. So I can set up my emails to go out automatically and it'll just be checking on a client, seeing how they're doing. And that's a great way to stay in touch, to keep your relationship with that person, um, who's your member. So that way they don't leave. Okay. They feel like they're always, um, you're always checking in on them. They're always caring about them. That's very, very important. Okay. Um, that's one thing that we really work on here with our current clients. So building relationships. So you can do that through content. So content can be, of course, uh, workouts or it can be motivational stuff or it can be nutrition tips, diet, something along those lines. All right. So that's kind of what you do with your content. Now, when it comes to prospects, right, what we're looking for for prospects, um, those are people we need to, for whatever reason, they didn't sign up. Okay. So we have to improve the KLT. All right, the KLT, which is the know, like, and trust factor, okay? So in order for someone to buy from you, first of all, they have to know you. And once they know you, they have to like you. And then once they like you, they start to trust you. And when they trust you, that's when you're gonna be able to get people to sign up for a membership. So uh, for whatever reason, that prospect does not know you yet, okay? So in order to get them to know you, you can do that through email, okay? Writing in a personal type of feel uh, to that person as if you're writing uh, to a friend, that's gonna make a big difference. So. Um, I like to write about personal stories, about how I started um, this whole thing in CrossFit, my first CrossFit workout, um, when I got results, all those things, okay? Um, video, you can also have links in your email to your video. Um, YouTube page, whatever you may be doing, that makes a big difference. YouTube is a, and video is a great way to get someone to know, like, and trust you very quickly, okay? The reason we do that, okay, is we get them to know, like, and trust us. Once we do that, then we can do offers, okay? So we can give them offers okay and those offers can be a low barrier offer you know a 21 day deal or something along those lines just to get them in the door once you get them in the door then you can start um, to get them into an actual paying client so then they go back into that current client list now here we go guys this is one of the most untapped lists that any box owner has okay is your past clients all right I can't tell you how many times I've reached out to past clients through uh, my emails that are already set up automatically to go out 
and I've gotten a lot of those okay and I, by a lot I mean sometimes even two to three per month will come back okay to my gym and the reason why is because I reached out to them okay most bulk box owners when someone cancels they never talk to them again okay that's not the way to do it okay you want to talk to that person you just want to reach out okay all I do is I just say hey how's it going I know it's been a week or two since you've uh, been at the gym just want to see how everything's going okay once they respond back then you start the conversation to get them back into the gym okay so obviously you want them to return you want to um, re-establish you want to re-establish that relationship guys so when it comes to your email marketing right if you're not doing this yet okay, this is probably the biggest step you can do and this is going to be one of the great ways to get that automatic return on your investment okay in your business right away because if you're not emailing your current clients okay you should be doing that at least once or twice a week twice is even better three times eventually but start with one to two okay prospects same thing one or two times per week content all right know like and trust stuff send them an offer once in a while past clients you want to reestablish that relationship so you want them to eventually come back into the gym so if something happened some reason maybe they told you why maybe it was a reason they told you that wasn't the actual reason but whatever it is, you want to reestablish that relationship, get them to come back into the gym. And I guarantee you guys, in that list that you already have, all right, there is a lot of money in there, okay? I've worked with some clients, some box owners, who literally will make an additional two to $3,000 right off the bat, okay, just because they're actually emailing and staying in contact with their members. So I hope that's useful to you guys today. Um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me post in the comments below i'm happy to help you guys out also if you are interested in learning more about how to uh, get coaching with me then uh, i want you to click that link below this video which is to my uh, online coaching group which is called rx business ignition and on that group and in that page you'll be able to see all the details on my coaching um, you can actually get to try it out for ten dollars for the first 30 days so for $10 is kind of a no-brainer. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.